Hey guys, what's up? Today we're back with some more Outer Worlds. Last time we were in this game, we went ahead and completed Yoka's side quest fully. We also got a brand new companion. Shut the hell up, Beta. We also got a brand new companion in the form of Sam. How you doing, Sam? Alright, but today we are going to continue doing some side missions. Um, we'll continue the main missions in the next episode. But today we are starting the episode off on Groundbreaker. Don't worry, we are going back to Monarch since the uh, main quest I want to do is on Monarch. But before we do anything, what I would like to do is I'm going to take my girl Parvati and we're going to take Felix, Parvati Felix, and we're going to go back to Groundbreaker. Now, if you remember, you heard a little commotion going on in the Med Bay of Groundbreaker last time we were here, but we never check it out. We're going to do that today. We're also going to complete another mission. If you guys remember, in the last episode of Scylla, we saved that guy um, that was surrounded by all of the sublight thugs, right? So we saved him. And, um, basically, he's tied to another mission that I'm going to go show you right now once the game finished loading. Uh, I, I probably shouldn't have brought Felix because he's going to keep asking me about his side mission, but we're not going to do it quite yet. Um, but yeah, that's also tied into the side mission. Um, he does give you a special weapon if you do this mission a different way. Um, he does just give you, it's a, it's a pretty decent weapon, I guess, but it's not a weapon you probably use. It's a two-round burst pistol. Um, so it's not the greatest weapon in the world, but, hey, but we go in here, we go ahead and pass out of them, we already heard them talk before, we're gonna talk to her first. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? Yes. mentioned a busybody getting in his way on Scylla. I'd wager that's you. Thank you for getting my mechanicals to me. If you're ever in the market for a bit of beautification, the first one's on me. Keep hanging around, and I'll be. What can I do for you? you Nothing have for now. Bit of beautification, huh? But that gets a little bit of XP. We get that quest solved. It's going to give us a lot of XP, actually. And we also get some money out of that, as well as some items. And I don't think she gives us anything specific, really. Um, I know she gives us some items that we can put in our medical thing. I think right here. But our main thing is that we're going to talk. I'm sorry. This girl. Am I causing a scene? A little bit, you were. We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Let this is about your friend. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. All right, maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. I could like in on Jesse. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Alright. It's kind of weird. Um, well, I thought at the first it was kind of weird that you could just walk back here. But if you do walk back here, for one, you can see this auto mech mechanical here that's here. But you can pick up this ID card if you haven't found one yet. That's some sick card. But once you go in here. You can do this other way getting here though if you don't somehow have the id card or you just don't do this way is that you can come through here um unlock it and come through that way as well but this way it's just a lot easier but if you come back here shut up Avardi. <laughs> i never heard you say that before all right hey 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 ellie sent me chill chill no need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful, sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. Hey, open that door before I kick it down. Me. Damned if I don't rue the day I saved her scrawny little hide. Inadvertently, I befriended a bloodhound in the process. All right, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. Sorry if you heard anything there, guys. Anyway. The truth is, Hello, I'm Jesse. not sick. But if you repeat what I'm Clearly. about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with Fair the enough. board, are you? 
See, I'm not. I know them a lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So I hold up here to lay low. What did you do that got you in trouble? What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Yeah, you think the board had someone follow you and now think? you're hiding out. No, I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one, assuming you want to keep breathing. All right, I'll fess this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. What does this have to do with the board, though? Udon was my buyer for when I'd acquired the diamond. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life, and nary a plan to make back Udon's deposit I'd spent. Ellie asked me to help you, so that's what I plan to do. Bedford's the board guy on the station. Yeah, yeah, I'll talk to Udon for you. You're a real pal, or I guess I should say, yeah. Ellie is one, huh? Also, bet. So this quest gives us a lot of a little bit of XP here. All right, convince Udon to clear Jesse's debt. All right, so we're gonna try to do that. There's, I think, think there's a couple ways you can do that. I'm gonna try one way that I haven't quite yet. I'm gonna go ahead and go to um go towards Udon. Um, hold on, let's actually talk to Ellie and see if she has any advice for us. Any word on Jesse? She's in the debt with the board and thinks someone's after her. I'll handle Good luck. it. The board's got an office on the promenade just before engineering. You can't miss it. I'd go with yeah. you to see the board's rep, but I'm not great with soft skills. All right, okay. All right, so I'm guessing she's talking about this, obviously, right? But if you go in here, come on, guys, I need you guys in here for something. Okay. Close the door, but if you log onto his computer, or as a passcode. Fuck me either, really. When you were sick, who took your time? All right, well, when you let's talk to how him. you do. How do oh. you do? How might I assist you? I'm here about Jesse. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. More alive than dead. I'll I pay it off her. Underestimated the size of Miss Doyle's debt. If you'll look over this itemized bill. You're charging that much for emotional anguish? I am really? extremely anguished, Captain. Please respect my feelings in this difficult time. Nice one, Bedford. Everybody knows you were never engineered to have feelings. Be careful you don't irritate my guards, Mr. Millstone. You might not like their rather narrow understanding of what constitutes excessive force. Oh, I know you. Oh, hold up, chill. Means of resolving her debt. That's She's worth more alive than dead. Boss. You can't be serious. The board's got no right to just enslave another human being. That's where you're wrong, young man. Oh, no. Nah. is deep. What guarantee do I have nope. that she'll agree to the nope. terms you negotiate? Hmm. None. I'm not sure the price of her organs will allow a profit in that case. I expect her liver is, uh, used goods, as it were. I will recall my collection agent. Now, is Oh, you're not calling anyone. Oh, you're not calling anyone, good sir. Oh, Ellie! Wish I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. Except being right. That's nice, too. If there's no one to pay the hitman, then I'm pretty much... Not my friend, my ass. You sure saved my skin, stranger. All debts between me and Ellie are cleared. Watch yourself. One of the hey. orderlies told me Jesse's out already? <laughs> you really yep. do work fast. Tell you what, oh, yeah. I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off.
Well, are you saying you'll work for me just because I helped Jesse? I'm being honest, and I prefer not to. I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. What did, what exactly did Jesse do for you? Bet. We were on a smuggling run planet side when our point man bet me I couldn't outrun a mantisaur. Tell me you what tried. What can I say? Something about people telling me I can't do a thing that just makes me itch to prove them wrong. And as you can probably guess, the thing was faster than it looked. Probably would have caught me if Jesse hadn't picked it off. So she saved her yeah, life. But the important thing is I won the bet. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Ellie. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Felix said back. Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're real happy to have you. And we get a level up, and Felix has left a party to go back to the ship. But with that being said, guys, now that we have Ellie with the crew, I will be meeting you back on Monarch so we can start the mission for today, other than this one. Good to see you again. Ellie, my mind, but it's been a while. How's that whisper muzzle working out for you? I sold it. Didn't seem to make me any quieter. Hmm, that mod was for your gun, not your smart mouth. You want to bust my chops? Do it over drinks next time I'm on station. Please don't mind her. Everything <laughs> I sell works as advertised. Some people just like to sass me because I don't bite back. I got you. All right, I want—I did want to show that up, but I'll see you guys back on Monarch. All right. Hey, Velma. So, let's see Velma. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready. All right. She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Take it easy. I'm just well, looking around. Well, if you're that friendly about it, then you definitely aren't one of Catherine's sublight toughs. My mistake. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me yes. ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Your chief what? Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. So, find him and drag him out by his ear. I would if I weren't busy here picking up his slack. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Something else on your mind? I'll talk to you later. Alright, so let's go ahead and check on Braxton apartment so we should be secret people so this apartment's right over here she has another mission for us that we can do but we're gonna focus on this one for now and check on the apartments so these same apartments have a completely different side mission on it but we're all um I think I'll check this out a little bit later it's actually a pretty cool side mission um and it's kind of short but I'll do it in a later date Hey, might as well, right? Oh, you don't have anything on her. But I killed her. Oh, shit. Um. 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 Whatever you do, don't mention toss ball to All right, so we're going to try to do this again. All right, so let's try to do this again. <gasps> you startled me. Don't sneak up on a person like that, huh? Looking for Braxton. Have you Braxton? seen him? I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you. Sorry. Dilated pupils, anxious posture, muscle spasms. She's high on some quality stuff. Okay, maybe just a little. Braxton always has a good stash, and I just like to let loose a little. Stop thinking about the marauders and the raptodons outside, you know? 
So you do know Braxton. Where is he now? Oh, damn. He told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. Whole family had fallen sick and he had some meds on hand. So maybe look for him there? That's all I needed. Straight with you. Folk who disappear in the wilderness generally aren't able to come back. Don't get your hopes up. It's not an ugly, that was the ugly angle if you can do it. Dropping a care package off, but the matter is no old south of the town. Laura, I know you're reading this. Stay out of my things. Everything hey! Spinning. I'm just gonna take it easy, okay? Stop stealing the stuff. Hey, yeah, maybe it was a good thing I didn't kill your ass, but hey, it is what it is. We can talk to this person right here, but we won't. But let's go ahead and we're gonna head to that house outside of town. Um, it is kind of on the way. It's not gonna be a very, very long journey at all literally right outside of this door pretty much so all right so it's gonna be right over here we can't sneak past all these enemies but I kind of want to test out these new upgrades I got BAM 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 got bit bamboozled BAM oh my god I'm one-shotting everything Air hammer has all of the elements now by the way I don't know if you guys noticed that or not but it does have all the elements just got a cane at Alpha here. One shot him. Okay, that's, that's, that's fair. Yeah, as you can see, Nuka has... I gave her a better light machine gun. I'm going to put the electricity on it because that was the only mod I had for it. I did want to put plasma on it at first. Oh, drop my controller. And Ellie has pretty much all of her normal gear, but I did give her a helmet. Um, surprisingly, her pistol and um her armor aren't bad. Oh, oh my god, how did I not notice you? Fucker. Inray. I don't think we've um used an actual Inray weapon. I do have an Inray mod though. Okay, stay still. Okay, there we go. All right, so the house is right here. I just see a Braxton here. He was here making a delivery. Do you know because the note said so. So, you know that he was here. Also, that note was the other way you could have, um, obviously figured it out, considering that we didn't fail the mission right then and there. But, <laughs> I actually didn't know that at first. I used to just talking to her because she's there. Alright. So, we're at... The residence. A visitor? What an unexpected surprise! Please come in. I'll just, come in. I'll just get your doors unlocked here. Real bad fight or flight right now. Watch your step. People ain't this friendly outside city walls. In my experience, any stranger this friendly either wants to rob an airlock you or sell you something. Nonsense. Out here in the wilderness, we welcome all who come to our door. Now come in, make yourselves comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking for a man named Braxney. He supposedly came by here. I'm afraid we don't get many visitors out here. The Raptodons and Marauders scare off all but the boldest. And if you've braved them, you must be exhausted. Why don't you stay for dinner? Are you sure you haven't seen Braxton? Braxton? I heard he was delivering medicine to you. I'm sure I would remember something like that. Now, quit fretting yourself about that. Make yourself at home. Dinner's almost ready. Something ain't right about this. Yeah, it's not. Strange. Your mother, they're looking at me. The door's locked. Hey, yo. You must be famished. So are we. No, no, no. Why the? Why is the is door locked? Again? I'm afraid nothing out here works the way it used to. There's a bit of a trick yeah. to jimmying it open. I'll see to it once we've finished dinner. Fine, I do so appreciate not your patience. Yet. I'd hate to serve company with anything but the best, though. Self occupied. Look at you, yo! You're looking creepy over here. Why? What a pleasant surprise! And just when I was beginning to fear we'd seen the last of good company for a spell. 
Yet the Eternal provides, does it not? Not gonna preach me all the way to dinner. If, so, if you're so eager for company, why live all the, the way out here? The Eternal does not desire that we huddle and hide, crowded in by walls. We all share the spark of the Divine, and we were made to spread it across the stars. Out here, we are free. And even apart from society, the universe provides for us, as your being here proves. Uh, what do you mean by that? Your presence here is a gift to us, and one that we don't take for granted. Look at me, prattling on as if this gravy is going to cook itself. Why don't you run along until we are ready for dinner? Interesting, interesting. Steal this? I'll steal it later. Maybe, maybe. Got a locked door here. Hello. Oh, there's another guy down there we didn't talk to, actually. Actually, oh, hello there. say anything. You come for, for, uh, dinner? Wasn't my plan. Are you sure? Because someone came for dinner yesterday, or a week ago. Wasn't that you? Maybe not. Okay, you seem a bit confused. It's just hard to remember things. I recall moments, feelings, but the details slip. Other times, it's like there's fog. I, sorry, have we talked about this before? Yeah, I can That's help nice you. Of you. I usually feel better after I eat. Mama said dinner's almost ready, huh? I'm gonna leave you alone now. Door here. It looks like we can escape through there. Hello. Oh, hi there. Did you come to bring us more of those rocket candies? What are you talking about? You know, the ones that come in a bottle with a rocket ship on the front. Doesn't sound like any medication I've heard of. Nothing legitimate, anyway. They don't taste very good, but they make me feel so nice. Hungry, too. I don't have anything That's like that. Bad. There was this other man who used to bring them. Not anymore, though. Why isn't he bringing he you more rocket candies? Sick. Mom and Papa got real mad at him for that. Some kind of off-brand drug, maybe? Wouldn't be the first or the worst. They went to have a talk with him. Afterwards, they said he wasn't coming back again. Tell me about this Mom man. And Papa said he came from the city. When we got sick one time, he brought those candies to make us well again. And they worked. Now we feel better than ever. Mama says they're a gift from hmm. the Eternal. Was his name Braxton? I'm not really supposed to talk to strangers. Look at her eyes. They, like, darted like hella hard. Well, they still are, actually. They darted hella hard just now. I don't know if they've been doing that the whole time, but I just noticed it. Okay. Maybe I'll see you at dinner. The way she said that reminded me of a rat licking its chops. Be careful. What's in here? I just got a mag pen. Can I seal that? Alright, good. You didn't get mad at me. Um... Oh, this is Levi's or Levi's? I don't know how you pronounce it, okay. Private, please don't read. I'm gonna read it. Sunshine, uh, sunshine, sunrise. Sun crests the horizon as round, soft, and warm. It's a lump of a sissy pig. The day is fresh, with alive. And wow, I read, I fucked that whole thing. I'm rereading that. Sunrise, the sun crests the horizon as round, soft, and warm as a lump of a sissy pig. The day is fresh and alive with possibility. Trees. Ever reeds rise from the ground, glistening and triumphant in daylight. They remind me that life can grow, even amidst the dust. I said I must have missed the dust, sorry. Sky. Monarch, one grows large and dark, like a moth that eats the sky. I think of words with the E, I guess. I had to describe it, but something dark swallows them. Hunger. There is... What? There is an ache, I think. Sharp in my stomach hurts all the time that's it up there is okay bud makes me sick a food makes me sick 
Water makes me sick. Always hungry, so I can't think. So, clearly, he used to be able to talk normal, but he was not able to. Where'd she go? Um... Are you hey, good? What are you doing in my room? Just Liar. looking around. You're trying to steal the uh, last of my rocket candies, aren't you? Oh, no, chill with the rocket candies. I'm gone. Damn. Go upstairs. Bathroom. Is there a broom in here? I oh, know. I guess it's like a little scrub thing. It's such a weird shower to have. Like this shit doesn't close. Just an open shower with the step stool. Water can go everywhere. In and everywhere. Hate that. Uh oh. See that there looks like it's a foot or something. Um It's also locked by the key. You can unlock this door, but wonder what happens. Don't. Hello. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna go out here. So this leads to right back outside. Now, if you guys remember, that door was locked, so I wonder if it's still gonna be locked when we go outside, or if it's gonna magically unlock. Alright, I guess you're gonna unlock the other door then. I can always walk right back out and leave, but we gotta find Braxton, right? Oh, you found him. They so I found him. Asshole. Ain't enough that the raps eat everyone. Now people are doing it too. Something like this. Separate time. This is a special weapon. Escape the house. Separate time. Don't play with your food. Just a uh, officer spine. Um. So. Downstairs. not here. What if we just hit one of these? Left out this bitch, right? It says escape the house. There's one way to escape. But I want to see what happens when we found that body just now. So it seems like they are cannibals and they were cutting up Braxton to eat him. I'm going to assume because they stopped giving him them drugs. And, you know, they're getting sick, which is clearly that they were, because that dude must have took the most of them, because he was fucked up, man, was out there writing poems, and now he can barely speak. Um, but the most important thing I want to figure out is what happens if we walk back into the front door. So we can... scooby dooby doo you a friendlier welcome, Where are you? I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. It's bad Fair in enough. Experience, you notice my mood? I'm surprised you can see straight today. I could be Damn. seeing triple and I'd still think you're being unkind. I just might find it funnier. Will you try wrangling half a ton of dead fish with decades old equipment and see what it does for your disposition? Anyway, what do you folks need? Got some bad news about Braxton. That he's got his load on and I'm stuck covering his shift? Yep, and he was killed by cannibals out in the yes. ruins. Wow. I sure feel like an ass now. Cheer up! Maybe you can hire someone better. Oh, sure. Because Monarch's just teeming with experts in the finer points of salt tuna health. Still, it's good to know what happened to him. And that I ought to start looking for a replacement. Something else on your mind? I'll be right back. 
Alright, so now we've completed that quest, she has another quest for us to find someone else, but what happens if we go back to the house after going towards Velma? I've never done this before. I'm going to try now, see what happens if we go back into the house after escaping. Um, we're going to see what happens. We're all here. I haven't said anything. What's you must up? be famished. So are we, my friend, but one can't rush a fine meal. Aren't you sure you haven't seen Braxton? They aren't saying anything. At all. They're all down here. Nice to meet you. Wait, did I already say that? I hope you favor catch up and woolly cheddar. We have to make do with what... You must be famished. I'm sure I... Now please, try to relax. Undo... Is it... There's a bit of a trick to... G please. I promise I'll get the door open once we've had our meal. Until... Huh, so it doesn't seem like... They say anything... Or they don't know... That you know that they're cannibals. If you do that, if you escape the house, go to Velma, then come back... Don't say anything. Braxton's still here. Who else is here? R.I.P. Braxton, by the way. That's a hell of a way to go out. Hell of a wrong way to go out. Not a hell of a way to go out. So, um, not in the ideal way I would want to go out in life, for sure. Don't seem to say anything. Oh my god, what the hell? They just are attacking me. They deserve to die so clean. Jesus Christ. Admit, killing them felt real good. Hell yeah, but they scared the shit out of me, bro. Yo. Taking all your shit. Give me a dark candy bar. Dun 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 Nice. Well alright then. I think that's gonna be it for this episode. I thought they would do something different. I was completely wrong. They completely just attacked me when I came back downstairs. Jesus Christ. Um I do know that they do say something to you if you come back from Braxton's room, they'll be like, you're tracking blood on the floor, but, wow, alright guys, well, that's gonna be it for this episode, hope you guys enjoyed it, we got to kill some cannibals, and what is definitely the creepiest part of the game we've gone through so far, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed it, though, and always, always stay safe out there, hopefully you guys had a good weekend, and I'll see you guys next time, peace out.